G'day Giants, welcome to another War Recap video. I'm Benny. Today we are recapping our victory over the clan Hispana Unida. Obviously a Spanish clan. We got the victory 52 stars to 45. Really dominated this clan. As uh, the trend's going, I'd like to congratulate Adil and Com. The only two guys this war to get a six pack. So awesome effort for both of you guys. Well done. Today we're gonna recap five videos, four Town Hall nines and a Town Hall eleven. So the four Town Hall nines we've got Com with a Queen Walk over Ho, Adil with a Gover Ho. The Hammer with a Mass Witch, a Deal with a Cold-Blooded Quad Lava Loon, and myself uh, on Benny, my uh, Town Hall 11, with a Queen Walk Mass Witch. Let's have a quick look at the war stats. So, 37 attacks won, one failed. Um... And uh, Edward didn't attack at all. Not too sure what happened there. But um, 12 3 stars, 8 2 stars, uh, and 0 1 stars. So, Dan has got the most heroic attack in Galaxy 97, the most heroic defense. So, looking at the map. Our two Town Hall 11s, they could only one star us. Our Town Hall 10s were only two starred. Um, and not too many of our Town Hall 9s, um, bar our lower ones, were tripled. With them, both the top two Town Hall 11s were two starred. Um, well done to Dennis for getting the double on both of them. I tripled their number three. All their Town Hall 10s were two starred and all bar that one Town Hall 9 were tripled. So, first we're going to look at um, Com's attack on base 15, guys. Um, so, Com's bringing a Queen Walk over her with this. So he does a, a pretty good job with these. I, I have had a quick look at all these attacks um, just before I started recording. So he's starting up north up here with this attack. And I'll just quickly zoom back out because he does come in from southeast with his golems here. So his queen's walking and doing plenty of work up north. Smart deployment of his wizards. Well placed. Um, wall break is there. So his golems and his kings going in. Obviously with his valks he's going to get to that enemy queen and he's got the CC there as well and then he's just gonna start his hogs from south and wrap around and meet his queen which won't leave too much left up north so he can be really really um, Loose with his heal spells here. He's still got two left. And I don't even know if he's going to use any of them here. No. So, it just goes to show... He really... He's, yeah, he just swags them both there. 
absolutely just dominated this base. Um, in my eyes, was a perfect attack. Um, really abused that lava hound in the CC. So, yeah, awesome attack com. Um, one of two really, really good attacks this wall. So, well done to you, mate. Um, super effort, definitely deserve to be featured. Um, and that's a, a really good video to watch if you want to learn how to place your troops with a queen walk. Next attack is from Adil. Um, showing two of his attacks this wall. Um, this one is just a straight out gover hoe. Uh, he starts from west side here. So I'll zoom in a tiny bit. For those of the guys in the clan that are a bit of hard of sight. So his wall break is going to open him up and he's just going to get access to the enemy queen here. Um, and the CC. With his Valks and his Queen and King there. So the Valks straight up, straight to the Queen, and she's gone already. Jump spells down there, um, forcing his troops into the center of the base. He could have placed it a little bit further out, but um, I don't think he wanted his troops to funnel up north. So once again, he gets his hog starting to work with his kill team. So his kill team's working the center and his hogs is just going to wrap clockwise around the base now. So he's not going to stretch his hogs at all and he's just going to start following them in and they're just going to keep following around the base. So uses that last heal spell there to get him through that giant bomb and there's only these two defenses left now so he's clean up teams already working the base as we zoom out there so we'll just fast forward that another uh, good example of hog deployment uh, for a town hall nine so any of our new town hall nines that are watching this it's a really good example of um of how to deploy your troops so they start working either clockwise or anti-clockwise around your kill team and the wedge that your kill team creates in the base. The next attack is from the hammer. Um, I'm glad that he attacks his space like this. I only uh, quickly opened it up to see how he did attack it and it's it's what this base deserves to get and it's a mass switch. Um, so he's starting from down south and gets a good spread on his which is there which also means that because he hasn't just dropped them so quickly on one spot they're gonna spawn the skeletons at different times which is what you want with a mass witch attack. So he's used King's ability here. Once again with mass witch, um, your only concerns are giant bombs, mortars, and whiz towers. But he's already got through um, two of each of them. So there's, right now there's only two mortars and one whiz tower left that's going to cause any trouble for his troops. Um, but he's got plenty of skeletons in front of his wizards to the west. Um, and his queen's going to take out this uh, last whiz tower and um, mortar there. So the, the raid's completely over now. Um, Nothing can ever, ever stop him bar time, but he has so much time. Um, I should have taken note how long this attack did take. 
but the base got exactly what it deserved there. Um, so smart tactics there from the hammer once again. He's um, throwing down really, really strong, smart raids. So good work, the hammer. Definitely enjoy watching your um, attacks. Next attack is going to be a cold-blooded quad lava union from a deal on base nine. Thanks, Lady Bean. Just donating to this useless mini that I've got going here. So he's going to start his raid from northeast here. And for our new Town Hall 9s, once again, um, you will see that his deployment with his balloons and hounds has the exact same concept as the hogs. He's going to um, use the wedge that the kill team, his king, queen, and that golem created. Um, which does two things. means that while his kill team's still alive, it's going to tank anything for him if he starts his raid early. Um... And he uses two poisons there to get rid of all those pups. So his first hounds comes in. So he's obviously going to go clockwise um, with this base. So that first two hounds go down and his loons are following up. So his second ones go down and we just got a clockwise motion. So his balloons in the middle should sort of start pushing through the centre a bit more now. And as he loses hounds and they turn into pups, it gives them plenty of room. So there's only two defences left there. He's got hundreds of balloons left. Not really, but... There's only that one defense left. There's one, two, three, four, maybe five balloons there. Uh, four there were. But he's got heaps of pups, so the balloons have done their job. The hounds have done their jobs, and they've all popped. So cleanup is just a time thing now. So it's just another really good example on how to um, wrap your troops around that wedge that your kill team creates. Um... So, once again, another really strong, good example from a deal in um, this war recap. And once again, congratulations on your six-pack this war. You um, really were one of the MVPs this war. So, yeah, just keep watching these attacks for our lower Town Hall 9s that are still learning. Last replay or attack we're going to show is mine on um, this Town Hall 11. Um, I'll start it up and I'll just quickly pause it before it starts. Now, this attack goes exactly how I wanted it to. I wanted my queen to um, walk from east, south and wrap around to the west. Um... I was pretty sure that the Teslas were going to be throughout this open part of the base. So I wasn't too sure where they were. I was hoping that they weren't going to be two together to really pressure my queen. And from looking at um, where all, all the single point defences were, I knew that there was pretty much only one stage where she was going to be under a lot of pressure and um, where I would have to rage my healers. I, I did half get concerned because she started to push north at one stage, which is not what I wanted. I still would have um, 
worked, but it wasn't how I was planning. So from there, once I was happy with my queen was walking and I got her through that first um, phase of that really heavy um, attack or defense on her, I was going to send all my golem giant witches and wizards and king and warden straight north through the eagle artillery and taking on that one inferno. But we'll watch it now. Um, so the queen's going to drop next to this elixir collector and camp to the east of the base here. So, not too much hurting her at the moment. That's where I sort of half got scared that she went up that way. Um, and I was happy where this Tesla popped here. Because it meant that I wasn't going to get too much on her. Just a little bit further down here where the cannon locks on to her and the enemy queen comes out was when I was really going to be under a lot of pressure. So I've already used my earthquake up north while the queen wasn't um, under too much trouble. So this is where I rage her here because she started getting quite low. And I knew that the rage was going to get me through uh, the enemy queen. So my war breakers do fail up here and I sat for a tiny bit. Um, but luckily that the walls weren't that high. So I get my haste down and I use my wardens. Because I really, really want my witches and my giants in on that first um, inferno. My whole idea is to get that first multi down. I um, used a freeze spell there on the expo because my queen was really under a lot of pressure. Um, and she does dip low here as well. I end up using um, her ability after I trigger a giant bomb here. I might have been able to get away with not using it. But... Um, in the end, it still works out well. So, I'm glad I get this expo down because it was one thing that was going to cause me trouble um, as my queen wrapped around here. Um, having it on me plus a couple of other point defences may have hurt a little bit. But from now, um, I'm in a really good position. I've got two minions left and... Um, I know now that I want to hold them until the last two archer towers lock on to me. Um, and hopefully that there wasn't any uh, air traps to take them out. So now that the two archer towers are locked onto my queen, um, she can tank that while... The minions worked on that cannon. And that's it. So I, I was really, really happy with that um, attack. I've only just started using the Queen Walks in war and I was quite nervous. I was actually shaking by the time that the, um, the attack was over. So I was really, really happy. So I think fucking awesome job to me and um, double thumbs up to myself because I can blow wind up my own ass. But that's it guys for this war recap. Um, we've done pretty well. Um, we've won our last couple of wars. It's only been uh, we did have we've had those few losses recently to modern clans and that real tight one to TU war. But we are um, really starting to hit our straps again. So well done to everyone. I'm Fenny for now. Ciao. Awesome job, Giants. Looking forward to the next wall.